weren't racing, were you, chaps? No, no, no. Of course not. What's the plan today, Professor? We're going down to the secret underground test track. Game on, JB. I hope you like the smell of burning rubber. I hope you like the taste of dust. Now, I want to emphasize one thing clearly. There'll be no racing today, chaps. I've only just recovered from the last time. And from the 1995 season, here we have one of Nigel Mansell's original moustaches. So, gentlemen, today we'll be testing the new super, super soft tyres, a new set of waterproof overalls, champagne resistant. Wow, what the hell is that? Oh, pay no attention to that. It's just something the teams have been asked to test out to make next season more competitive. And, of course, we'll also be testing the new car. Uh, M, there's only one of them. Oh, we only need one car to test the modifications, Lewis. Heads or tails? Heads. Best of three? Let this one go, mate. Now, we've fitted new hydroplated coach pins with subretinal handling compensation. How does it feel? Amazing. Feels fantastic. This is awesome. Love it. Woohoo! Marvelous. Hmm? What the? Oh dear, it's happened again. Lewis, you do realize what's going to happen to those missiles, don't you? Right, let's call it a draw, shall we? Yeah. Woo. Nice race, man. <sighs> Got anything else we can test? <laughs> <laughs> Are you seriously going to the premiere like that? What do you mean, mate? Oh, you look like you just stepped off the beach. You're not going to shave. Shave? This is my look, man. This is how I roll. Do be serious, gentlemen. There are more important matters to attend to than your personal grooming. And from his victorious 1976 season, here we have James Hunt's original jockstrap. Pretty straightforward affair today, just running through a few safety features. Nothing hair-raising. You're not going to join in, then. <laughs> Very amusing, Jensen, but safety's no laughing matter. Now, the first thing I want you to test are these new G-forces. Thank you, Charlie. You'll notice that the pressurization should counteract the effect of the... Jensen, are you tweeting? Might be. Well, I suppose that demonstrates the suit's work anyway. <laughs> May your beard slipped. Oh, thanks, man. Do pay attention, chaps. Right, let's move on to the car. This year, we've brought in a number of safety innovations. We've started by improving the... Do be careful, Lewis. There are some significant alterations. <laughs> like what? Well, well, for example, the button that used to work the DRS now activates the... Injector seat. <laughs> Perhaps I should have mentioned that before. Ah, I see you're testing the new automated fire extinguisher unit. That was wicked, man. Mate, I see you're rocking my beach look. And I see you finally decided to shave. Aren't you chaps due at a premiere soon? Well, you can't go looking like that. Pit crew! Cool. Sick. 2.8 seconds. <laughs> Not bad, chaps.
morning, Professor. Ah, Jensen, Lewis. Four-tenths of a second early. Excellent. So what are you showing us today? Today I'm going to show you the future of Formula One. What, robot drivers? I am Jensen Robot and <laughs> Lewis Hammerbot. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing, Japs. But what I'm going to show you is top secret. On no account must it ever leave the building. And here we have just a few of the spare Ks from Mika Hakkinen's name. I'm about to show you the car for the Formula One season in 2020 and beyond. First, you'll need to put on these special helmets. They allow the driver to control the car by thought, as well as having an augmented reality display, providing a complete analysis of track conditions and a rundown of rival drivers. The car uses a revolutionary new lubricant that we've developed with our partners over at Mobile One. By spreading to a thickness of one micron, a single drop will last an entire season. Cool. Ah. Gentlemen, we haven't spent five years developing this so you can play skidsies. Ah, oh, good. I see you're testing the inbuilt airbags. Now, the car is powered by a revolutionary new engine no bigger than a sugar cube. Wow, that's the engine. No, this is a sugar cube. Oh. The engine is here. Now, the car. Uh, it hasn't got any wheels, mate. It doesn't need any, Jensen. It floats. Now remember, Lewis, the car is thought controlled. So whatever you do, don't think about racing. What was that you said about nothing leaving the building? Good heavens, he's heading straight for Sweden. You better take over, Mike. I think I've just seen a flying bar of soap. Oh dear, there's only one thing for it. We're gonna have to fire up Vodafone McLaren Mercedes One. Jensen, do you think you can catch him? a vintage Formula One crash helmet made from genuine Harris Tweed. Imagine doing 160 miles an hour wearing that. I've got the need for speed, man. Not the need for Tweed. Those guys must have had ball bearings of steel. No gadgets, no computers, no testing. Gentlemen, there's a time for testing and a time for racing. So what are we doing today? Racing! You sure about this, Ed? Quite sure, gentlemen. Woohoo! Cool. <laughs> What's going on? You are having a laugh, mate. Now, as you may have noticed, your cars have both been fitted with limiters. You call this racing? I call it test racing. You can race, and I can test. You can't be freaking serious. I've never been more freaking serious in my life, Lewis. Now, please press button S on your new steering wheel. At the end of the chicane, turn left. You've added a sat-nav? Oh, it's so much more than that. Well done. You're doing really well, Jensen. You'll notice the motivational assistant automatically senses when you need pepping up. Driver energy levels low. Dispensing nourishment. Hmm. That needs a little work. Nice. Now my car smells like a sausage. Chill out, man. Chill out initiated. Ooh. I like that. Well, let's make things a little more challenging, shall we? <laughs> Isn't this ingenious? Yeah. Now how do I turn it off? Must be this red button. Uh, don't touch that. That's just an experimental reverse gear. So, does that have a limiter on it too? Of course not. <laughs> 
Why on earth would anyone put a limiter on a reverse? <laughs> of course. Woohoo! This is wicked! I may never go forward again. Oh dear, it's happened again. Caution. Vehicle reversing. Caution. Vehicle reversing. Nigel, time to deploy the traculator, don't you think? I'm off to lunch. Good luck getting out. Yeah, engineer is important, but at the end of the day, it's about the driver, not the car. True. The great drivers always rise to the top. Wouldn't you agree, fellow world champion? Yeah, you could have put Senna on the lawnmower and he'd still find a way to win. Oh dear. The lift seems to have broken. Let us out! We've got a race to get to! Patience, Lewis. To be a great driver, sometimes you have to think your way around a problem. Em, um, what do you know about driving? You may not know this gentleman, but I was a driver once. Uh-oh, he's gonna tell us a story. Oh yes, I had my shot at that championship. It was Brookwood in 62, but that year I was beaten to the title by a young German called von Richtmacher. Victory was cruelly snatched from my grasp. Fascinating. Now about this lift. Maybe I can hotwire this thing. I know what you're thinking. I must have been bitterly disappointed. But I did have another shot at the title. In 1975. Once again, I was foiled by Von Richtmacher. My German rival was making me look like an idiot. Right. How you doing, Lewis? Not happening, man. I ain't gonna fit through this hole. But I did have one last shot at the title. It was the early 80s. I was no longer a young man, but I had a certain... sophistication. I knew this was my last chance to beat my rival, so I made damn sure I'd win. Tell me you didn't mess with his car. Of course not. I'd never do that to a fellow racer. But let's just say he had a little trouble getting to the race. He got stuck in a lift. With a little help. And that, gentlemen, is the value of engineering. Now, I believe you have a race to attend. Respect, Prof. Awesome. Come in. Ah, gentlemen. All ready for our important guest? <laughs> now, let's not have any tomfoolery today, please, chaps. Or there'll be hell to pay? Do try to be serious, gentlemen. Sorry. You're not actually going to wear that, are you? My bow tie? Absolutely. One mustn't appear improperly dressed in front of... The mayoress of Woking? Lord bless this wind tunnel and the wind that blows in it. Uh, may I present our two world champion drivers, Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton? Why do I have to hold the hose? Go with the flow, bro. Now, Mayoress, we've prepared a little demonstration. This is what we technicians call a graph. <laughs> One assumes this displays the parabola of the drag coefficient, does it? Uh, well, yes, it, it does. <laughs> Get off my nose, man! And are you able to activate the DRS from here? Naturally, ma'am. You know, finals, man. I had no idea he was such a fan. Yes, one enjoys a good Grand Prix as much as the next mayor is. I also like monster trucks. Do you? Ah, uh, love them. Not now, Terence. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> uh, what happened to those two silent racing gentlemen? <laughs> Uh, would you excuse me a moment? 
Oh dear, it's happened again. What the? Uh -huh. Ah, gentlemen, the professor has been giving me a most entertaining presentation. Oh, has he? I'm sure he'd want us to continue. Mom, would you? Oh, thank you. Love to. Don't be shy, Mom. <laughs> that should do it, my lady. <laughs> Slightly awkward. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Most revealing. Oi, Louis, kyo kyo ju wa nani osuru tsumuri kana? Yamatte, niongon ga wakaranai kara. Ah, doka. Konnichiwa, chaps. What do you think of the new facilities? Spacious. Now, let's get down to our preparations for the Grand Prix. There are a couple of changes to the new Japanese circuit. Let me just switch tracks from the last Grand Prix. Now, you'll notice there's a new chicane after turn 12, and they've had in a couple of rather amusing corners this year. Uh, M, who's driving? Yeah, how come he's got perfect lap times? Allow me to introduce you to the McLaren Project 4 Robot Test Driver. Or MP4 RTD1 for short. Snappy name. He has an onboard analysis unit that collects data and makes adjustments in real time. He actually learns as he drives. Greetings, father. Uh, I didn't program that. Come on then, Nico Rosbot. Let's get racing. What is racing? The robot wasn't designed for racing. He's a test robot. So, let's get out on the track. Now, chaps, RTD1 will show you the perfect line around the new Japanese circuit. All you have to do is follow him. More team orders, JV? Shall we? Hmm, I'm starting to wonder if this was such a good idea. Racing. 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 Not bad. Game on. Go on, my son. Racing. Racing. RTD one. RTD one. Stop! Stop! Oh dear! Bro, M. Father, speak to us. Say something boring. Oh dear! It's happened again. I suspected it would. That's why I stayed back here in Woking and sent along my robot avatar, MP4 RPM one. It's all right. I'm okay. Is there anyone here who isn't a freaking robot? I'm okay. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> well. I quite like you, RTD1. <laughs> ah, Nick DeFries, star of the McLaren Young Drivers Program. Nick? Nick? Hi, Prof. Ah, sorry, of course. <laughs> there you are. <clears throat> I see you're admiring our Hall of Fame. Perhaps one day you'll join our list of McLaren champions. Prost. Senna. Hunt. Louder. Hunt. And, of course, Mr. Jensen Button. Cool. Can I meet him? Can I? Can I? He's doing some charity work today, so he's not around. But his car is. Whoa. Can I drive it? Can I? Can I? I'm afraid you have to be this high to go on this ride, Nick. But don't worry, you're going to do something just as exciting. Really? Four thrilling hours of white-knuckle driving theory. <laughs> so the combined effects of the downforce and the DRS will cause a 0.2 deviation from the apex of an average corner. As I can demonstrate with an analysis of one of your last go-kart races. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't want to miss this, Nick. <laughs> huh? So, Nick, what do you think you did wrong on this corner? Correct! Absolutely nothing! Whoa! Cheeseburger, please. Thanks. Golly, I've been talking for hours. Do you say if you want a break? No? Good lad. <laughs> Ah! 
Ah, the McLaren Young Drivers Program, I presume. Excuse me, madam. There's something I have to sort out. What do you think, Nick? Are you cut out to be a McLaren driver? Nick? Nick? Sorry, Professor. Just taking everything in. Good lad. For a moment, I thought you were miles away. It really is nice to have such a well-behaved student. Ah, Jensen, have you met Nick DeVries? Yeah, we've run into each other. Nearly. You better watch out, Jensen. He'll be driving your car before you know it. Ready for another fun day in the lab? Yeah, he's probably going to have us testing batteries. Ah, chaps. Now, we have a full schedule today. Uh, but before we begin, I uh, just want to run something past you. As you know, the teams take it in turns to lay on the entertainment for the post-race party. How could we forget? Especially after last year. <laughs> and what is it with the KRT-1 extrusion manifold assembly? <laughs> What's that all about? <coughs> is this, this thing on? Slightly awkward, but this year is going to be different. We've thrown a little something together for the Indian Grand Prix that I'd like you to take a look at. Hit it, Charlie. What do you think? Uh, yeah. yeah, great, cool. But aren't we doing the after party for Brazil? Charlie, would you uh, check my diary, please? Oh dear, that's happened again. I'll uh, get the maracas, shall I? All right, Prof. So what are we doing today? Well, today I've invited along an old friend. I believe you know Mr. Hackenham. Mika! Wicked. Oh, the flying fin. Hello, boys. So we're racing against Mika. Mr. Hackenham's not here to race. As a former karting champion like yourselves, he's here to promote the new McLaren go-kart. Oh, great. So you brought us all the way here to promote some go-karts? Yes. I'm particularly proud of my new impact-resistant doors. Make sure you get some good shots of those, won't you, Freddy? Right, well, I'll leave you chaps to it. Now, don't do anything silly, will you? I know I can trust you, Mika. You know, Mika, you used to be a great driver. Thanks, Jensen, but now I'm retired. Most of my driving is done on the golf course. You mean you really don't want to race anymore? I have my two world championships, Louis. I'm happy with that. What, you don't want to feel the rush? OK, I'm coming out of retirement. Keep up, boys! Huh? I'll take care of this, Freddy. Look out, it's the feds! Don't 
He really is the flying fin. Damn, that felt good. You still got it, man. I never lost it. Ah, excellent. It appears to have gone rather well. Did you get some nice pics, Freddy? Hmm? See you, Prof. Marvellous. Run. Mika! They were only supposed to show the ruddy doors off. Ah, hello there, young Nick. Hi, Professor. Now, today I have something very exciting in store for you. Don't tell me. Another one of your lectures. Heavens no. The science of engineering isn't all about dry theory, you know. So what am I doing? Watching paints dry? No. That's the job of the bodywork finishing supervisors. All right, chaps. No, Nick. Today you're going to put what you've learnt into practice. Out on the track. No way. Yes. Prepare yourself for the ride of your life. OK, Nick. You'll notice as you put pressure on the accelerator, the rev count rises and the torque of the engine is transferred to the wheels. Incredible, isn't it? Great. Steady. Any steadier and I'd stop. Don't worry. I'm here on the dual controls in case things get out of hand. Now, let's try an overtake. <laughs> Easy, lad. You don't have to go fast to appreciate the beauty of the engineering. Steady. And well done, lad. Now, we're coming to a fork in the road. I think you know which way to go. Let me help you. Nicely handled. Uh, we're getting a little fast, though, Nick. Nick? Dear heavens, where's he gone? Thanks, Professor. That was the best lesson yet. Yes. <clears throat> it was rather lively, wasn't it? Well, at least I hope I showed you that engineering can be fun. Now, if you'll excuse me, I uh, just need a change of undercrackers. <laughs> Gentlemen, today's test will take place in the McLaren simulation module. It will require your complete concentration. Huh? Complete what? Do pay attention, chaps. What happens in the simulator can be highly significant for next season. Please fasten your seatbelts and ensure seat decks and tray tables are in the upright position. We'll be travelling at a height of approximately four feet. Please turn off all electrical devices and mobile phones. Why do they always say that? Oh, I don't know. Uh, sorry, chaps. Slight glitch in the system. Cool. Hey, this is not cool. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Ah! Uh, why have we stopped? I think we're buffering. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. Well, Lewis, what do you think? Hmm. You're gonna have to make your mind up soon. Ah, I think I may have to take this one upstairs. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Mr. Mr. Dennis? Sorry to um Ron's busy! Park Hosworth. What is it? It's the drivers, sir. They're they're stuck in the emulator. Oh dear. Em. It's happened again. <clears throat> yes. Well, just turn it on and off again. Well, there is a 20 to 80% risk. We may lose some data. What do you mean, data? The drivers, sir. Hmm. 
Well, I'm a busy man, so let's get on with it. Get on with it! <laughs> I can see your bits, mate. Just pronounce bites. <laughs> Chaps? Whoa! That was freaky! Lewis? Are you alright, mate? You don't look yourself. Hola. Hmm. This might work out rather well. Whoa.